time is it? It is reaction video time. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? I got a good one today. I'm excited to watch this one with y'all. I'm excited. It was requested during my live. So when y'all even come on my lives on Wednesday mornings, well, it's Wednesday morning my time. I don't know what time at y'all's, but I do it at Wednesday morning my time. I get requested and I like to try to write those down. I try to make those because people that are going to come to my live and request, I try. Y'all take the time out to come to my lives. I was like, I'm going to write them down and try to get to those. I try to get to those right away. This one was requested during my live called, let's check if you're brainwashed about India. I was like, all right, <laughs> let's check. Am I, am I brainwashed about India? Everybody says, all you can think of is, is India, India, and Bollywood, Bollywood. So let's see if I'm brainwashed. Y'all ready to get this started? Have you subscribed? Right down there, the buttons, and hit that little bell, the notifications, because that'll tell you when I got a new video up. And share, because I got to get to a million so I can come and visit India and see if I'm brainwashed for real. <laughs> and follow me on Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda, same on Twitter. Are y'all ready for this? Let's get it going. Many of you have seen people of Indian origin in your country. How do you perceive them? And how do you perceive India? Okay. Many of you think of India as a country of poverty, slums, mm -hmm. dirt, rapes, mm -hmm. and caste system. And mm -hmm. many of you got introduced to India through the famous movie, the Slum Dog Millionaire. And then there are some of you who know India for its bullying and yoga. Well, it is not entirely your fault that you think this way, and there is no doubt that India does have its imperfections, but India is definitely not what we are shown in our countries. Like many of you, I was also a victim of the mainstream media in my country until I ended up living in India and started to keenly observe this country. And of course, to understand India and its mechanism, one really needs to have fine-tuned senses. Next time you see Indians in your country, remember that their country is being transformed into something like this. However, you are mostly shown only that. And of course, many of you were never told that for many years India has been one of the fastest growing major economies of the world. Are you worried that Indians are stealing your jobs in your countries? No, you are not fully informed. Perhaps you do not know that Indians are also providing thousands of jobs in your country and they so are doing it in different parts of the world. Don't just jump to there are more than 800 Indian companies in the UK which See? employ around 110,000 people. What about the US? In the USA, Indians owned firms employ more than 600,000 employees. Have you noticed that when the media in the West talks about rapes in India, they rarely talk about the rape rate statistics and probably rapes, it is because yeah. India is nowhere close to the western countries in rape rate. What? Yes, so I'm aware that while speaking. talking about rape, one must consider things like underreporting, marital rape, homosexual rape, false filing, law of rape, conviction rates and many other factors. And that is why I sincerely yeah. recommend you to dig a bit deep into this right. and analyze where your own Don't country just jump stands to Don't before just you jump become to a victim of the mainstream or fake stream media. By the way, were you also told that the so-called developed countries do not only have a much higher rape rate, but also their citizens travel abroad to rape the citizens of poor countries? Europe, North America, Australia, New Zealand are some of the main sources of international oh, child sex tourists who perform that. sex crimes in oh. other countries. Were you also told that many Western women travel abroad to enjoy female sex tourism? Mm. And it is difficult to believe that the boys who are hired by these rich women are in some cases not underage. I don't want to hear about that. India has always been yeah, a multicultural a society. And yes, in one way or another, discrimination may exist in India too. Okay. But wait, which country is crime-free? 
Is your country crime free? No. Is there no discrimination in your country? No. India is a country where its minorities are allowed to thrive and grow in numbers and also in percentage. Mm -hmm. India is a country where many Dharmic traditions like Jainism, oh, yeah. Sikhism, Buddhism oh. and Hinduism were born. I know, the I've seen the videos. I know they got beautiful. The ideologies and religions that did not originate from their I'm own I'm gonna go land. visit one day, I'm telling y'all. When I first heard of Indian caste system in my country through our media, it was not even mentioned that in India, not only the minorities, but also the members from those societies, which are also known as low caste, end up becoming presidents, vice presidents, prime ministers, I and chief ministers. I heard about that. Has the media in your country told you about this when they talked about Indian caste system to you? Has the media in your country also mentioned that India has already had a female president and a female prime minister? You go India! You go I India! That in many so-called developed countries, many we haven't had immigrants pri from poor president. countries are purposely and temporarily brought to do low class and dirty jobs. These poor people are kept in substandard conditions and after the job is finished, they are sent back to their own countries. Mm. The developed countries make the most of their strong currencies and their own citizens shy away from doing small jobs. Well, these developed countries are so smart that they perform oppression on the humans okay. that they import and then later, about? very cleverly they too. dispose them. Can we call it exploitation too? Indians are extremely self-critical really? and they are genuinely concerned about their problems. Mm. They do have the intentions to fix their problems well, yes, and they do not shy away from talking loud against their democratically chosen Good. governments. I like that. I like that. But you must remember that when Indians talk loud about their problems, uh -huh. it does not mean that they want to replace oh, I know India that. for anything I else. Just, I know that. And it Proud must be India. pointed out that Indian media has not really started ridiculing the Western countries yet, even though many Western countries love to present themselves as some kind of role models. These Western countries continue to forget that they can also easily be ridiculed for their wealth inequality, crimes, intolerance, rapes, poverty, and even hunger. Why are you going to talk Perhaps about US? Indians are more interested <laughs> in self-correction <laughs> than ridiculing others. Do you think sure. that about us? Are you brainwashed about very US? Well that tragedy is not a competition. Indians are not only providing jobs around the world, they are even feeding oh, many yes. hungry and poor that's, outside India oh, by it. their philanthropic work through their temples and good oh, yeah. And very importantly, I like they are not stories. expecting anyone to embrace Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism, or Hinduism. There is no doubt that India does need to improve its modern waste management infrastructure. Oh, is that bad? As yeah, I don't even know any of this. I didn't even... Dirty, even though oh, an average that... Indian produces Ooh. far lesser waste than an average American or European. Mm. Also, the per capita emissions from India are so low in that's comparison good. to the USA and that, China. That's what and I'm Indians talking about. Are nowhere close to the, the West Kuwait? when it comes that, to historical high? emissions. Yeah. For all these years, you were told about the poor sanitation of India, but you were never told that Indians were also the pioneers in ancient sanitation really? system long before the Western countries yeah. got civilized. But of course, it shouldn't matter today. Even after 70 years of its independence, India is still not open defecation free. What's that mean? The government of India What's that mean? is running some massive scheme to build millions of toilets and only time will tell if that is going to be enough or oh. not. Oh, so they're working on it. They're working on it. That when it comes to defecation, some citizens in the Western countries have a strange addiction or rather a disorder. And this is where a potential exchange can take place between India and the West. I gotta know India about this. can bring the latest sanitation system techniques from the West, and the West can benefit from the authentic yoga from I India that. that can help those Western citizens who are suffering 
from such disorders or addictions. But of course, it can only happen if the Western societies are brave enough to address their embarrassing problems and not just sweep them under the rug. What problems? As it is very well what known you that such kind of disorders and addictions have been reflecting in the Western adult film industry as well. I wonder what they're talking about. What do you not think they're talking about? Not many people know that India has nuclear weapons and it is said that India has the fourth strongest oh. military in the world. After but US, India Russia, does and not China. believe in muscle flexing like China or the USA and That's neither us. it believes in expansionism. And yes, military. India has not a world so much leader money on that. It's ridiculous. It's not a world leader in earning money by selling weapons. It stands nowhere when it comes to earning money by selling crude oil. However, its space agency, ISRO, does earn money by sending satellites in space for a very cheap price, fulfilling the satellite dreams of poor countries, and also by helping the advanced countries which want to save money. India is not a leader in the porn industry, and neither it is a top destination for sex tourism. Good, that's nice. Mostly, Indians are just very simple and kind-hearted mm. people, and only some of them know that their land was the richest in the world for thousands of years, mm. and it was gradually pushed that's into poverty, right as it was exploited, looted, and colonized by its invaders and colonizers. And these oh, unfortunate right. victims who have just tasted their independence after centuries of oppression and atrocities, are finally rebuilding their country in an extremely democratic environment that may slow down things a bit for them. But at least, their system attempts to involve everyone in the rebuilding of their nation. The good news is that India's rise is unlikely to cause any country a demographic trouble, as India's dharmic institutions are not interested to convert you from your religions. There are not many just religions that, there, right? We are not really going to face any brown supremacy, even though Indians themselves come in all skin colors and features. It is also highly unlikely that Indians will hate you, even though many of you may have developed prejudices against them really? because of the mainstream media houses, no, no hate, no which for some special reasons are overplaying and sensationalizing their problems. Indians are a gentle, accommodating, compassionate, hospitable, and yes, they do not have a fake smile. Their smiles are still mm. very real. That's like and me. most importantly, See? they are forgiving. I'm the soul of the Look Indian. how they even welcome the people from the land of their ex-colonizers in their country, even today. That's good. Before you comment on India, remember that the countries which were never colonized will not easily understand what it means to suffer from a post-colonial identity crisis. India may have its imperfections, and in this process of rebuilding, it will make its share of mistakes, and it will learn from them. Perhaps we also need to learn how to build a relation with Indians on equal terms, with mutual respect, without feeling superior or inferior, while focusing a bit more on ourselves to address our own embarrassing problems. See you again. Wow. That was interesting. <laughs> I don't think I was so much brainwashed about India, though. Well, I'm going to tell you that only because probably I've watched right now over these few months when I've been introduced into the Bollywood world, that's when I had learned. Maybe before I watched my first, like the got into watching the Bollywood songs and the trailers and Tollywood. I know, Tollywood. I should just say Indywood tonight. Maybe before I might have like when I thought of India, because we do, you think of that movie, that Slumdog Millionaire, and they have a lot of poverty and stuff. And then when you're in school and they learn about different countries, you know, we learned about like the caste system in India. So I knew about that. But I'm going to tell you, this is the U.S. We are very like just self-involved. It's true. 
we don't know a lot about other countries. We don't know about a lot about like, like any geography and stuff like that. It's true. We might learn a little bit about it in school of the other countries and geography and stuff, but it's not like we're, I'm telling you, very self-involved that we just don't know a lot about that stuff. Maybe now more so because of the internet and things like that, that I think kids might be learning more about it. But before the internet and growing up in schools and stuff here, when I went to school, they didn't teach us all that kind of stuff. We learned it from the TV and the movies. Which, as I said, Slumdog Millionaire and those kind of movies. So maybe before doing my Bollywood stuff, that's what I might have thought. But yeah, now I'm like, a lot of this stuff, I'm like, I knew this. I knew this. <laughs> I'm like a, I'm like maybe an Indian expert that from the foreign lands. <laughs> maybe not, not, probably not. I, because y'all know, y'all know, I can't even get names and the language right and I get things confused. I'm still calling everything Bollywood when I know it's like they got the Tollywoods and all of that. I still do that stuff, but I'm learning. And I do feel like in my soul, I have, I have India in my soul. I feel like it. And I can't wait till I can come in there and experience all that stuff for myself. I can't wait. I can't wait. I kind of want to know now though. I kind of want to know now because they was talking about, you know, other people and not exposing their problems and stuff like this. That's one thing I think about the U.S. Everybody in the U.S. will tell you their problems. <laughs> they, we, we want to know like things about the U.S. We will tell you everything that's wrong with it. We have no problem saying that. Well, we're still kind of like, oh, you know, USA people, some people crazy proud, like patriots, like, oh, you know, USA, USA, America. I'm, I'm not like that. Although I, I do, I mean, I like it here most of the time when we don't have certain presidents. <laughs> That's in the office, oh my God. But we'll talk about that another time. But it just got me thinking, I wonder what things that y'all might think about the US. Should we do like a special live, like a special live stream next time? Like questions or things that you might be brainwashed or I can explain about where I live? Cause that's how we get to know each other. We learn about each other's stuff, right? Y'all can even comment down asking questions. Oh, maybe I should make a special video. Should I make a special video? Y'all comment about questions that you have about where I live and things that you know, and I'll just go and read them. I'll go read and answer the questions. I like this idea. I like this. And ask me anything. Don't be, don't think it might get hurt my feelings or nothing. Don't think it might hurt my feelings or nothing because I don't get my feelings easily hurt. And I will talk about anything. That's why I said people might be, when that part, that's why I was like, that ain't me. That ain't where I live. When they talk about people might not want to talk about their problems in their country or or problems with them, I'm like, oh no, that ain't here because we will talk about it all. And I think that'll be fun. Comment what questions you have for me about the US or things like you might be brainwashed about. And I'll tell you if it's true or not. I will do a video and, and read them. I will read each question. I mean, I might not get to them all, but I will read each question, who said it, and answer them for y'all. I'm excited about this. We'll name it. Let's to I'll name it. Let's check it if you're brainwashed about the US. <laughs> All right? Till next time, y'all. You know what to do. Subscribe. Comment, thumbs, all that. Bye.